I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Hi everyone, it's me, Ian here in Beijing. I'm a Scottish person from Glasgow, living in Beijing. Been here for about eight years. Um, it currently today is very, very wet. It was very, very warm, about 40 degrees. With this rain, it's cooling down. So I'm out walking in the rain, which seems a strange thing to do. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about um, what I'm seeing now that China has opened back up. There is a lot of people coming into China and they've been amazed by what they're seeing. They're grabbing a video camera and sharing back to the world what is actually going on inside China, the real story. It's not what maybe people are being told. And it's great to see their surprise when they get to China and they start to video and record stuff and then share back to the population that they left behind in their relative company, countries even. Um, to see them share back and other people say, wow, it's not what I thought. So it's great. The more people that do that, the merrier. I wanted to share with you my top 10 of the China vloggers that I tune into and I recommend. I know there's a lot more out there, but these are the 10 people that I kind of go to to get a, a nice feel for what's happening in China. So I'm going to start off with my number 10 pick is... So my number 10 is a guy called King Kwesi. He has an amazing channel where he mixes real life experiences with a nice blend of reality on where China sits in the world of politics or geopolitics. I especially like his interviews. He's got a, a lovely way with people and I would recommend watching his Living in China series where he talks to other people who have moved to China and they tell him about their positive experiences living in China. So I recommend starting off with King Kwesi. He's my number 10 pick. In at number nine is a guy called Ben Coleman. I love Ben's channel. Um, it's, it just exudes for me an absolute energy, an embrace of anything new. And you can feel his excitement of stumbling into different experiences. And Ben is everything that you want in the new generation of human beings in this world. People who are curious, fun, constantly learning and constantly sharing what he's learning so i reckon my number nine pick is ben coleman in at number eight is the amazing jerry's take on china jerry is a legend out here he has traveled just about everywhere in china on a bike he has the experience and the authority to have an opinion and his channel pokes away at the negative global narrative about china and he does it in a way that well, he does it with facts, well-researched facts. And Jerry's channel is a great way to start to understand more about China. And he's done this over the past 18 years. So I would definitely recommend my number eight pick, which is Jerry's take on China. My number seven pick is Nico. Now you can find the channel if you search for Nico in China. This channel is super slick. And Nico and her partner, Jack, are absolute top class content makers. In fact, I think that's their job, professional job. They are no longer in China at the moment, but their content is out there for everyone to see. And they have clearly loved every moment of their time in China. And it comes through on every piece of content that they make and post onto their channel. So my number seven pick is Nico. The channel called Trip Bitten is my pick for number six. Try saying that. Miguel is a um, great, no bullshit, down to earth kind of China blogger that lives in Beijing. He is super detailed and he does his research. And I'm getting wet here. Um, he does his research. Watching his videos is like another level of education. And the one thing that I do like is that he pushes the controversy a little bit and tackles subjects that are not always easy to navigate. And some subjects are a, a little bit different. And he does it in such a calm and collective manner. This guy is cool. His jumpers though are a bit much sometimes, but then I'm the kind of guy that just wears the same thing almost every single day because it's easy. So go and check him out.
so I've managed to find a nice dry place to continue. So let's continue. My number five is the Barrett Channel. They're in at number five. These guys are great. And although the father and son combo no longer travel together, they've got a great body of work that is still spot on to this day. They've travelled everywhere and the way they work together was great to see. I do hope that they get back together as a combo and start sharing more content. That said, Lee, the father, who's still recovering from, or just recovered I think, from illness, he's out there doing his thing and he's stoking great debate with excellent topics. So number five pick is the Barrett channel. So my number four pick is a channel called Blondie in China. That's my number four pick. I have to confess though, I do not always connect with her content or her style. I have no idea why. Sometimes it just doesn't work for me. But when it does connect with me, I am brought right in. I think maybe though, it may be a little bit of jealousy because she's living a life of travel and experiences that I wish I could do. Uh, but I've got some commitments, so maybe, yeah, maybe it's a little bit of jealousy. Anyway, it's a fantastic channel. Blondie in China is my number four. So my number three is a channel called Living in China. Um, this channel is so funny. Jason, who's from the UK, I think it's Manchester, he pushes the humour and his comments are just out there sometimes and he digs away at the, the Western establishment in a way that is just pure genius. He has such a funny way to take the, take the piss out of the BBC that you've just got to watch. So I would recommend you go and have a look at that. A warning though, he does use some challenging content that is difficult to watch. Uh, as an example, he would use the horrible scenes of homelessness in America and then compare that to China and it's a stark, disturbing contrast. Um, but it's true, to be fair, it's absolutely true. Jason does this sort of stuff with a great balance and I think he gets the humour right to a certain extent. Um, yeah, he gets the humour across and using that humour, he gets the point across, I think. The channel is a great watch and um, watching Jason grow his family with his wife and baby Lincoln in China is just fantastic and, it, and it, that adds another dimension to it. This guy is all in on China, so check out Living in China, it's a fantastic channel. So my number two choice is um, Sabrina in China, I think it's called, share the link below. Um, she's my number two choice because this channel and Sabrina herself just reflects everything about China that is positive. And not only is it done because of the excellent content that Sabrina creates and shares, it is the fact that a smart, talented, pretty woman from Jamaica can wander around China sharing her experiences without anyone hating her or attacking her or, or anything else, God forbid. And for me, that is freedom in itself. And if you don't believe me, go to her channel now and watch her walk around and tell you that she feels much safer here in China than she's ever did in any other place that she's lived in. So for me, Sabrina is a fresh breath of fresh air, breath of fresh air. Uh, and I think what she does is outstanding. So go and watch that channel. Speaking of outstanding, my top pick, my number one is, number uno, is Cyrus Jansen. Cyrus has an excellent channel that navigates the complex world of geopolitics and he does it with well-researched facts and he has a long history of living and working in China. Cyrus, I think, wants the same thing as we all do, peace, unity and for China and the US to work together and better the human race. Cyrus is an excellent presenter and when watching his channel you can learn so much about China, the world and what it makes the business side of it all tick or not tick in some cases. Currently Cyrus is living in Canada but travelling back and forth to China. He's a great ambassador to help inform the ignorant so to speak. The one thing though he is promoting a lot of his sponsorship hard these days. Um, so you maybe have to look beyond that, although one day I didn't and I bought into a VPN that he was recommending and it turned out to be my worst VPN experience of my entire life of using VPNs. So thank you Surfshark, your product is crap fat.
I will leave links to the vloggers on my list in the description box below. Now, please, I hope I have not upset anyone from the vlogging community in China. My main language is English, so I tune into English speaking vloggers. But I know there are lots of other vloggers using their own language to get their message across, and again, it's great to see. I recognize everyone for all the hard work that they're doing sharing the video content from China because it's not easy to put yourself out there. It's not actually easy to make a video. I honestly could have pulled together a top 20. 25 if not more so please if you are wandering around China with a video camera and sharing keep going keep sharing it's fantastic if nothing else it's good fun and drives your own personal curiosity about this fascinating country so keep sharing let others see oh and one other recommendation is a book that a friend of mine wrote about his life journey and experience through China it's up on Amazon at the moment I'll leave a link in the description box below It'd be great if you go to this the, the page and download it it's a fantastic read as i said putting yourself out there is not easy and andy has done that and it's great insight into throwing caution to the wind and just grabbing life here life in china um with both hands um so yeah please go and download that book now as always take care of yourself your family and your friends take care of your community this is me ian here in beijing Peace out, catch you in the next one. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago.